Hey guys, and welcome to this edition of Scruff's Garage. Uh, today's video will be fairly short, uh, but I wanted to take a moment to talk about the uh, steam vent lines uh, for the LS motors. <clears throat> so my car was an 01 Corvette, um, so even the base model LS1 got the LS6 intake manifold. And when GM went to the LS6 intake manifold, uh, they got rid of the rear uh, steam vent lines. So if you have just a standard LS1 with the LS1 intake, um, the steam vent lines not only run across uh, here at the front, but they also routed to the back and then I uh, hit both of the, the ports and the cylinder heads. <clears throat> um, there's a lot of debate about whether or not the rear steam vent ports are needed, um, and I'm not going to get into whether they are or aren't, but I do feel like they could have been a contributing factor uh, to my number seven cylinder uh, failure. <clears throat> I can't prove that they were, uh, but I feel like opening those up and tying them back in with the front uh, certainly won't hurt anything uh, and it could possibly uh, be a benefit if there are any air pockets or steam pockets uh, being able to get those out of the back of the cylinder heads and route it back up to the front, <clears throat> I think would be a benefit. Uh, so you have a few options um, when you talk about the, the steam vent lines. So, Trick Flow makes a kit. Um, it's actually a really nice uh, braided line. It's got uh, all the fittings, <coughs> um, AN fittings, so you can route it everything uh, nice and pretty. Um, but it's kind of an expensive kit. Uh, I'm sure it's nice for what it is, uh, but it's like 140 bucks. Um, another option you can do, uh, some guys use a front crossover and just use it in the rear. Uh, the one drawback there, <clears throat> so the nipple coming off the front of it uh, is pointed forward. So if you put that line in the back, then that outlet would be pointed towards uh, the firewall. And obviously you don't have a lot of clearance back here um, with all the lines that run back there. So uh, one option that you can use, uh, what I chose to do, so this is a front crossover from the GM trucks and I can link the uh, the part number uh, in the episode notes but the nice thing about this not only does it fit <clears throat> but the outlet nipple is over here and it's pointed vertically so it's not pointed towards the, the back of the firewall but it's over on one side and it points straight up and so that you can run a, uh, a coolant hose from the back and then tie it in uh, to the front uh, so that's what I did it's not the prettiest setup uh, but this crossover is, I don't know, 30, 35 bucks, so significantly cheaper. Uh, and obviously, um, the hose, you know, quarter inch hose or whatever, uh, is inexpensive. And then I just tied them all together uh, with a, a T fitting uh, here at the front. So it ties the, the front crossover with the rear crossover, and then it goes from here and it routes to the front uh, to the radiator. <clears throat> um, probably what you can't see very well. If I can turn this without shaking the camera too bad. Um, under here, if you can see it, there's a, a junction. Because this line goes from quarter inch uh, to three eighths uh, hose. Where it fits over here at the radiator. Uh, so you do need an, a, an adapter piece to, to change sizes in the hose. Um, the other thing you could do if you wanted to cap this off another place that you could route it in would be over here um, take it all the way back to the reservoir tank um, which is obviously going to be the highest point in the system <clears throat> so you could route it across here and then you'd have to get a uh, 3 8 T fitting and tie it into this hose uh, which is certainly doable and if I ever have a leak or if I don't like how this uh, system works then that might be something I consider over here um, so I hope that gives you at least a few ideas about how you could set up your steam vent lines. Um, give some thought to what I think opening up those rear ports uh, will be helpful. Uh, depending on what cylinder heads you have, uh, you'll either have just little block offs without the, the line, or you may have uh, plugs that are actually, excuse me, pressed into the cylinder heads uh, that you have to knock out from, from the inside, uh, which is how these were. So when I had the heads off, uh, if you look at the first uh, cylinder head installation video, 
you see how I punched out the uh, the rear plugs for the uh, <coughs> the back steam vent ports. So um, anyway, that's how the uh, the GM trunk crossover looks uh, and how you might route it. So I hope this helps. If you got any questions, hit me up in the comments. And as always, uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, it helps my videos and uh, helps me keep making uh, new videos for you guys to see. So take care, and we'll see you next time.